So just for this last module to wrap up the walkthrough of this Power Pages in a Day training, I want to point out a couple of things. We want to go into our setup workspace. So now that you've configured your website, you've set up all the permissions, you got it all ready to go. There are a couple of things you can do here. Of course, we can um, run the site checker from the site details. We have a go live checklist here. That go live checklist, you don't have to follow it um, word for word. It's a lot of guidance, but it's a really good idea. Do things like run the site checker, allocate your licenses, convert the site from child production, enable content delivery networks, web application firewalls, getting a custom domain, and then finally setting the site to public. So these are things you can further explore. Site visibility, sort of the final step, is when you're moving it from a private to a public site. Now this is something that um, if you're on a developer environment, you're not going to be able to do this. If it's on a trial environment or even a sandbox or production, you can can make this public. And what that means is anybody could use that URL and navigate to your Power Pages site. Now, because we went through the setup and configured the table permissions and the security, your order details are still protected. They can't be edited by just anybody off the street because we set that all up. So that's why it's important that this particular step gets set to the last to make sure everything's working. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and I hope you do the training um, on Microsoft Learn or get it from a partner. Or if you're a trainer and you're delivering this, I hope you found these videos helpful in delivering Power Pages in a day.